Hi, it's Emma from Hit The Floor and we're here with Alid from Kids and Glass Houses. How are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Are you looking forward to today's set? I am, very much looking forward. I mean, we've only played in a boat once, so this is the second time, so I feel like I'm like a seasoned captain of that kind of scene now. So. And you just announced your farewell tour in October. What can we expect from it? Um, the last shows ever. Tears? <laughs> no, um, I'm, I don't know, to be honest. I think... It will be it will be bittersweet. Like we're all kind of kind of happiest ending in a way, but I think come the last show, especially Cardiff and kind of like our last London shows, when we kind of actually it kind of clicks that it's not we're not going to be doing it again. It'll be sad, but I think kind of set wise, it's probably going to be a lot more fun than it's been for like a few years. So it's going to be good. Have you decided on the set list yet? Is it going to be like a medley of all? Yeah, Four it's going to be like, um, yeah, like we'll dip into all of them, but it's going to, like, we're going to, like, ask fans what they want to hear as well, because it's kind of their last chance to see us and our last chance to kind of do, to kind of make them happy, I guess. So we're not going to be selfish assholes and play, like, all of the third album, which nobody wants to hear. So <laughs> we're going to do what they want. And Slam Dunk, you're playing Smart Casual and Full. Is that your way of sort of laying the album to rest? Or? Yeah, in a way, it was like Slam Dunk was the first. One of the first, no, it wasn't the first festival we did. It was the first festival we did after we had an album out. It came, we played the festival the day before Smart Casual came out, so it was kind of like a massive deal. And it kind of that festival always reminds us of kind of starting being in a band. And um, we should have done it last year because it was like five years to the day, but we were we were being the kind of sensible band promoting new stuff. But now we don't have to give a fuck, so we're just like, yep, yeah, we'll play that one and. Uh, yeah, it's, it's fun. Like, it's like obviously people like that album the most, I guess, from what we've done. So it'll be a laugh, won't it? Do you feel you've achieved everything you want to as a band? Nope. <laughs> 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 no, I mean, fuck yeah, we've achieved loads. I'm not, you know, we've achieved so so much. But um, you know, we didn't go to America. That's one thing that's always pissed me off. I'm still annoyed. On holiday. But um. They never wanted us. Hit the floor will take you. Will you? Yeah. I don't think you have the budget for that kind of a promise. Do you? If you do, I'm not getting paid for this. If you have the budget, I want to get paid <laughs> for my words. And uh, do you still see yourself staying involved in the music industry once it's all um, over? Or? Maybe on the peripherals a bit. Like, I'm, I'm going to be doing artwork, so I like it'd be cool to stay involved in that kind of respect and do stuff for bands I like. But um, like I have no like plans to be in a band at the moment. It's kind of taken up such a massive portion of my life. For, like if I was going to do it, I'd like to think quite properly about like how I'd like to do it and with who and for kind of what reasons. I don't think I'd want to do it with like the intention of like getting big or like being famous or getting paid to do it like day to day. So um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes, really. Okay, now we're going to play a game. I might have your job, actually. You're my job? Yeah. You're going to take over from yeah. me? Fashion editor of Hit the Floor? Probably, I mean, maybe not. Mixed navy and black today. Apparently that's a faux pas, but is it? Yeah. Is it? Yes. Well, it's better than black and brown. Black and brown would be worse. Well, you have brown hair, so you clash with your jacket. I'm sorry. We're going to play a game called the Twitter game. Have you heard of it? Twitter is a game. I play it every day. <laughs> We're going to read some of the tweets from you guys and you've got to guess who said it. Okay. Okay. Is it from our official... Yeah, it's from your personal accounts. Oh, and you've got to guess who tweeted second. it. Yeah, right. I used to want to swim with dolphins until I played with one. Then I realised how shit their life was. Just sending out vibes to squids and shit. That was me. <laughs> Why? I think I was probably stoned or drunk. And I think I was watching dolphins on TV. Or playing Echo the Dolphin. <laughs> Ever played that? No. Terrible. Mega Drive game. Okay, next one. Got some serious emoji envy going on. My emojis don't cut it. No peace fingers, no running shoes, no miniature Indian fellow. Uh, Phil? <laughs> God, I'm good at this. Yes, new Kingsland Road video. <laughs> <laughs> Me? Yes. <laughs> Okay, drinking rosé and cooking a curry, it's ladies' night. Ian. Gotta be Ian. No, wait, no, that's Shay. Yeah, yeah. Shay. <laughs> Last one. Sorry to see the six pound bottle of House Red be taking off the wine list at the Peg and Wick. <laughs> You'll be missed. You served us well. That's Ian. Yeah. <laughs> Joel doesn't tweet, apparently. You've, you've, you've admitted he doesn't tweet. 
he does he goes out and does activities like canoeing and stuff so no time for the internet thank you for talking to us no problem.